I think everyone should be entitled to free speech, except progressive left-wing students. They should be denied a platform as part of their education so that they know how it feels. It's called equality and fairness. Could it be any more progressive? I say this because it seems like every week we hear about somebody being banned or shouted down in one of those progressive bubbles of righteous intolerance that we still have the nerve to call universities. In fact, a recent report revealed that free speech effectively no longer exists in four out of five British universities because progressive students are too intellectually delicate to be exposed to ideas that make them uncomfortable by challenging their prejudices and hurting their feelings. So they're demanding and getting what they call the right to be comfortable, the right to a safe space for all students, meaning the right never to have any of their half-baked assumptions called into question and to be pampered in this like little princes and princesses cocooned in their artificial world of progressive make-believe. Inevitably, of course, this right to be comfortable is very selective and only extends to those who hold the correct opinion. Anyone else can expect to be made very uncomfortable indeed by being silenced, either banned outright or shouted down by militant progressive Puritan bigots who think in slogans and who think it's more virtuous to be progressive than to be factually accurate or morally just or to have anything remotely resembling an open mind. Now it's bad enough that this is happening in our society at all in the 21st century, but it's happening in universities, the cutting edge of our entire civilization, and that makes it many times more damaging and dangerous. Yet the authorities are simply allowing it to happen for reasons best known to their common purpose, whatever that might be, and they are not doing their job. Even somebody like me knows that the primary purpose of an education is to teach a person to develop an inquiring mind, to be willing to engage with new ideas and information and to think for themselves. If it doesn't do that, it's not an education. However many letters you have after your name, it's merely a kind of valet parking of the mind. And that appears to be what's on offer today in lieu of an education, not just in Britain, but all over the Western world. Because today, a university is the one place outside religion where you're guaranteed to find people with rigid, unexamined ideas, deaf to argument and blind to evidence, and who appear to have been hypnotised into seriously believing that other people's rights and liberties are subordinate to their feelings. What does it say about a person's character when the only way that they can be comfortable is by suppressing the rights of others? Not that it matters what it says, because they're not listening anyway. They haven't been taught how to listen or how to think. Only to absorb progressive propaganda and to conform, and to judge and condemn and censor and suppress anyone who won't conform arrogantly incurious and utterly certain in the way that only truly stupid people are, certain enough to demand editorial control over everyone's opinion, yet dishonest enough to call it a safe space for all students. Yeah, right, except the ones you disagree with, right, progressive bigots? There's no safe space for students who express opinions you don't like, who argue for, say, democracy in Europe, or who try to put a case for Israel. And yes, there is one, not that you ignoramuses would know, and there's no safe space for students who want to hear other arguments, other points of view. You know, proper students who are there for the right reason, to engage with ideas, to broaden their range of influences, to evaluate arguments and to think for themselves. There is no safe space for those people. And you, intolerant, militant, Puritan bigots, are the reason why. Are you afraid to hear the arguments in case you're convinced and have to change your mind? It's not as painful as it sounds, I can assure you. But if you're not even open to the possibility, and if you shout people down, then clearly you are not. Then you are being miseducated, you've been shafted and brainwashed and cheated as surely as any religious zealot. You're even too arrogant and stupid to see that every time you shut somebody up, you indict yourselves personally, you show your smallness and your fear, and you generate contempt for yourself as an individual that you will wear as a public stain on your character for the rest of your life, because when you finally grow up 10 or 20 or 30 years from now and decide that you want to live down this despicable behaviour, you won't be allowed to. The crime is too great, the betrayal is too fundamental. We can all see now exactly who you are and how low you are prepared to sink. 
And we can see that from your sheltered and privileged position of closed-minded ignorance, you're perfectly willing to squander everyone's birthright, the importance of which you clearly don't understand because you've been taught not to understand. You're attempting to undermine the foundation of our society, the very principle that gives us all the freedom to be who we are and that gives you the freedom to abuse the freedom to be the intolerant intellectual and moral vermin that you are. The joke is that you claim to operate from a moral position. In truth, you're on the same moral level as wartime collaborators. You're doing real damage and you will not be forgiven. In the very places where the enlightened leadership of tomorrow is supposed to be germinating, you people are like a poison crop spray. You bring shame on the institutions of learning that you soil with your presence and whose premises you occupy under false pretenses. And that applies whether you're a student, lecturer, administrator, or professor, if you condone, facilitate, or indulge the suppression of any opinion on a university campus, you are an imposter and you are the problem.